Incorporating cool music and sound effects is a great way to add depth and engagement to your videos. And it's never been easier, even with just like an iPad or an iPhone or a video app for Android called Pocket Video. In this video, I wanna share how you can incorporate different elements, music, sound effects, and more using nothing more than the iPhone and app. And let's get started right now. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson helping you to stake your claim, amplify your message, and inspire action. Like inspiring someone to click the subscribe button. One of the best ways to do that is to create fun, engaging videos. And a great way to create engaging videos is to incorporate music, sound effects, all kinds of effects. It's never been easier with iMovie. I wanna jump on my iPad and share with you some of the strategies I use when I layer my videos and I incorporate different tracks, sound effects, and more. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure to stick around for the whole video because I'm gonna share a super secret tip that nobody really talks about or knows that will allow you to boost the amount of music in your iMovie library by thousands it won't cost you a thing. That's right, access to all kinds of cool tracks, sound effects, and more right inside of iMovie. Dig it. All right, let's jump on the iPad and do it. Alrighty, so I'm on the iPad, and you can do this with an iPhone or an iPad, and the app that makes this possible is iMovie. Now you can see I've got a bunch of projects. I've really been diving into what's possible on either an iPad or an iPhone, and I'm blown away. Now let's go ahead and open up the Subscribe To Me project. I wanna show you just how easy it is to add uh, either sound effects or music tracks. We're gonna talk about how to move the tracks around, how to position them exactly where you want them, and furthermore, this is what's pretty cool, I'm gonna share how you can increase the amount of songs in iMovie by hundreds if not thousands and it won't cost you a thing even better it's integrated into iMovie so let's jump in I'm gonna click on edit now this is actually a project that I created um, for a video here on YouTube where I talked about how to create these really cool kinetic text effects and you can see here what's happening is I've timed the text with my voice and all of this was done on my iPad, pretty darn neat. Today I thought I'd come in and show you again how to add the different audio tracks and so on. So notice when we're inside of iMovie, again, you could be on your phone or iPad, down in the right-hand corner, we've got media and audio. I'm gonna click on audio, and now in the media browser, so if I click media, this is the media browser on the right. You can access moments, photos, videos, albums. Now albums are the uh, the albums in your photo roll. That's really great for importing pictures and whatnot. And iCloud Drive. And that's what we're gonna talk about as we move forward as how you can incorporate and add tons of new cool uh, sound effects as well as audio tracks. For now, let's jump to audio again in the media browser down below right hand corner. I'll click that now and notice we've got theme music. Now, if you wanna play one of these, just tap and it will start to play. And you can kinda of look at your video and say, does this, the mood of this song or sound effect really work with my video? And if not, you can check the next one, Neon, uh, Modern, News, Playful, and so on. Really fantastic. These are pretty cool um, soundtracks and songs. And I've actually used this theme music bright and it's pretty darn good. Uh, you might want to check that out. Now, let's say you want to add in sound effects. Well, literally you click on sound effects from, again, remember we're on the audio tab in the media browser. If you look below, it's you know highlighted blue audio tab. And if you click on sound effects, you'll notice there are tons of really great sound effects. There are about, I don't know, looks like 30, 50 maybe so, different sound effects that you can incorporate to really add some fun. And the thing about video is that it gives us an opportunity to tell an engaging story. Whether you're teaching, whether you're creating a family vlog, 
this kind of stuff can hold a viewer's attention, and that's the entire game on YouTube. If you want to get better results, it's not so much the, the metadata, right? It's not the, the perfect keyword. It's not the right title. Those are important. You absolutely want to pay attention to those things, but that's just telling YouTube what to rank you for. However, when you create an, a video and people watch for an extended period of time, that's exactly what YouTube wants to promote, and that's why this is so helpful. So let's say we want to go back and we want to drop in uh, some theme music. I'm going to come in, I'm going to select Bright, and I'm going to click Use, and that pops in down below. Now at this point, you can see what we have is we've got one audio track that's attached to the video. And uh, notice the little uh, icon that the arrow is pointing to now. It's split up, it's blue. If we uh, deselect that, we won't see the audio wave uh, information. I highly recommend that you do have that selected, and here's why. Uh, you see that spike right here? Let's say you want to turn up the music on the track. Well, first of all, anytime you want to work with any media in iMovie, you click to select it. So right now, our theme music is selected. Right now, our video is selected. If I select uh, volume down below, you can see I can uh, turn this up, and that's great. It gets louder, but notice uh, right here where the bar is, notice it's yellow where the point is. That means that the audio is, uh, is breaking up. Uh, we've turned the volume too loud, and it's going to blow out speakers, and it's going to sound horrid. Uh, you don't want that, so you want to dial it back down to probably right about where I had it, about, yeah, let's do about 150, and that's really perfect, and that's why it's really important that we have the wave file showing for our video so we can get an idea of how loud our music is. Now, we can do the same thing by selecting the soundtrack I just dropped in on the video I'm working on. I can lower it, I can raise it. This is really important. Uh, background music is just that. It's background music. You want to select your background clip, and then you want to make sure it's not uh, dominating the video. You want it to be audible. You want people to be able to hear, but you don't want it to take over your video. So you can dial it down just as so. So we'll do that. So that's pretty good. I like uh, the way that is. That's pretty darn good. So let's just go ahead and, and use it as it is. Now notice when I uh, came to the front of the video here, I can see that this uh, audio track in the video is just too loud and it's really spiking there. So how do we correct that? Well, one of the things we can do is we can split the clip. Notice I've got um, the track, the video track highlighted. I'm on actions and notice the option to split. I'll click that. Now what I can do is I can dial down this audio on this track alone and what happens is it's just going to even things out. Now, if I would have just turned everything down, it gets really low for the rest of the track. So this was at about 150%, I believe. So we'll put it back right there. And this is a much better way to do it. So one of the things you can do is just go through your track and make sure you don't have any audio um, spikes that are going to cause the audio to break up and sound terrible. After that's done, what if you want to incorporate a song maybe 30 seconds into your video. Then what do you do? How do you move forward? Well, what you do is first you select the clip, and then notice we have some options uh, on the, the menu. We have actions. We also have speed. We also have volume, which we talked about. We also have fade. Well, if I want to drop the audio track in anywhere in the, the video at all, I can go to actions, and then I can select foreground and watch what happens. The track becomes blue. And now if I click and hold the track down, I can add it where I want to. Might add it, there we go, right here. And now the music track uh, begins playing where I want it to. And again, I'm going to check the volume. It's really a bit too loud. I'm going to drop it down to about 45%. And there we go. 44 will be just fine. Pretty awesome. Uh, let me show you one more trick here. So it looks like that's where things end. And actually, here's where my uh, intro starts. So I don't want this track playing over my intro. 
right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split the audio and I'm gonna delete that ending part. And I do that by, uh, again, notice I'm on actions. And all I did was I came in, I selected split right here, right? And now that that track is highlighted, I can click delete. And now I've got the track exactly where I, I want it to go. There's a few other things we can do. One of those things is we can select uh, volume and notice one of the options on the screen now is fade. I'll select fade. Now I can pull uh, this bar to where I want the track to begin fading. Very simple, very easy, uh, awesome. Now, what if you want to add uh, songs to the iMovie library? This is what I'm really excited to share with you. Now, here you see we've got the, uh, the background music clip that we've selected, but I want something that's a little bit more unique. There's just not that many uh, choices or options in theme music. What is that, like six, seven? Not good enough. However, notice iCloud Drive. This is where things get really good. Notice I'm inside of iCloud Drive now, and I can scroll down and I can uh, see a folder with the iMovie icon or logo on it. I'll select that. Now notice there's also a folder, Audio Tracks, VidMotion. And if I select that, holy smokes, I've got 96 royalty-free songs that I can incorporate. These are really high quality songs, super fun. And one of the things I really love is I can search. Okay, so this is a song I really like, quirky and happy. I can tip, uh, touch that and it drops in automatically. Now, here's what's really cool is that I can go ahead and add even more uh, background clips, sound effects, all kinds of stuff. And the way we do that is inside of iCloud. Now, here's what's really cool. If you've got an uh, iPhone, if you've got a membership to iTunes, you've got um, storage on iCloud that won't cost you anything. And what's even better, is that YouTube offers creators uh, a music library that's located in the create uh, option. Now notice I all I did was click create and look at all these songs. You can download these, you can incorporate the, these and you can upload them to your iCloud library. And what you're gonna to wanna to do to make this work is first you've gotta enable an iCloud, iCloud Drive. Next, you're going to uh, incorporate uh, the songs you want in your iCloud iDrive folder under iMovie. And when you do that and you access iMovie on your phone or on your iPad and you come into media, notice you've got an option for iCloud Drive. I'm gonna go to the audio browser again. I'm gonna select iCloud Drive and here are all my folders that I mentioned, really, really freaking awesome. I go to iMovie, so again, that's where you're gonna wanna put those, and uh, it's just that easy. Now, I like to organize things in folders, and you can do the same. What I would recommend you do is create a folder for uh, music, and then create another folder for sound effects, and you can come into the uh, YouTube Music Library, download a whole boatload of sound effects, and then incorporate them and upload them to your iDrive iCloud account. And then when you're inside of iMovie, you'll be able to come in and incorporate sound effects from iCloud Drive. Inside of iMovie, there'll be a folder for sound effects. Really, really awesome. I hope you found that to be helpful. Now I wanna mention, I've got some other tutorials on really leveraging iMovie. Uh, to incorporate all different types of effects. And I'm gonna link to some awesome videos that you might wanna check out right now in the YouTube card. Furthermore, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Brian G. Johnson TV here on YouTube, go ahead and click that red subscribe button right now. I upload new videos often all around video creation and video marketing and specifically how to leverage the platform that we're on right now. That'd be, well, YouTube. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Would love to get your thoughts on it. Are there other ways that you're incorporating soundtracks, music into your videos? If yes, just leave me a comment below. Would love to get your thoughts. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.